What's up guys, have you ever wondered? Hey, I, I want a M.2 SSD in the form of an external drive. They do sell these uh, by manufacturers, but I'm gonna show you how to make your own, sort of. Well, it's more personalized, should I say. Um, first, you need an M.2 SSD. For that, I'm gonna harvest it from that, which is a computer, okay? So, let's focus here again. Put it on its side. Wait, did I break something? Wait, wait. I think I'm good. Hang on. Here we have a computer. It's a very reflective case. You can see my ceiling. And that's the stairs. If you're wondering what it is. All right, now, um, that is the SSD. It's under a heat sink, so. Carefully undo that screw. Keep everything where it is on the computer, unless you plan to disassemble it fully. But I don't, I'll just leave it like this. It just has no hard drive, that's okay. Here it is. sound of it grinding on the small rocks and stuff doesn't sound good. Uh, give me a second. Oh, whatever, just leave that here. <laughs> Alright, now, since it's inside a heat sink, maybe yours isn't. But if you have your own, just skip this little bit here. Well, here's me disassembling a SSD heat sink. Now, let me tell you a bit about this SSD. It's a Sabrent rocket, so uh, pretty fast based on its Amazon details and on its website compared to other SSDs at this price range. Don't handle it by the gold pins. I know I just did, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, ooh, I'll put it here. It's on plastic, so I don't think plastic is uh, electrically conductive. So, uh, time lapse through this. Now on to assembling your very own SSD. Now you'll need, so this is a kit, I'm gonna link in the Amazon description, it's called the SSK uh, M.2 NVMe2 uh, enclosure with USB-C, or you could connect with USB-A if you think, if you want to. So here we have this screw, the one with the, the rounded off head, as you can see. Come on camera, focus. But yeah, it has a rounded off head. Not the flat one. Um, and then you have this kind of spindle looking thing. Based on what I see, you want the, there's a fatter side here and you want that down. First step obviously is to insert the SSD, line up the notch. Okay, it will stick up. That's okay, it's just the spring holding it up. Holding up. And now, line that up here. There, you can see there's a hole right through it. You'll want to see your table. Uh-oh, drop the screw. All right, I'm back. Now, I recommend a magnetic screwdriver. You will need both your hands for this. While holding it like this, down your magnetic screwdriver and there you go you, you might fail a few times I did when I first got this uh, SSD case 
Okay. All right, it's installed. Or should the fan side have been down? Well, whatever, they both work, I think. It's been a while since I used this kit to build another M.2. Now here's your thermal pad. Okay, you'll want to line that up here. It's kind of like tape, so don't always fear I'll peel off one of these chips on the board. It's never happened, so I guess don't need to fear it. Now, just do that. Now. Push down a little bit on the drive, just just a bit, so that the heat sink heat pad doesn't touch the external case, which will kind of act as a heat sink. And slide it on. Now it's almost done. You just need one more screw, and that's the, the that's the screw with its head that is um kind of like flat. No, it's not a flat head screw. It's just a screw with the top of it that's kind of flattened so it lines up flush with the case. So I will link both the SSD I used and the enclosure in the description below. It's a 512 actually if you're wondering, 512 gigs. Had windows on it, I'm going to be formatting in just a second. Uh, you know what formatting looks like so yeah. Yep, so there you go. That is how you assemble it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.